Did you know that 92% of people who set goals fail to meet them? I was absolutely blown away by this statistic. And sadly, I have actually been a victim. I've fallen victim to this statistic before, and I'm sure many of you have as well. This week, I had an epiphany that the secret to getting stuff done and achieving those goals is something that is so simple and super easy. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Discipline Habits Podcast. I'm Jess Gordon, your host. Happy Friday. It's a little dark outside right now. The craziest, craziest storm I've ever seen. It was wild. Maybe not the craziest I've ever seen, but the thunder and lightning was so loud. Like the lightning was making noise. That's how you know it was crazy. But I'm so cozy right now because it's just dark and gloomy outside. So I decided to put on my favorite sweatshirt, which is my Jesus is King sweatshirt, which if you want to twin with me, you should definitely twin. Elevated Faith has a lot of good stuff on their website. I do have a discount code. It's down in the link in my bio. Go check them out. Twin with me or get something else. Um, I love this sweatshirt. It's genuinely my favorite one. It's so soft. And also, all of their clothing supports for the glory of God. So, of course, I'm all about that. 92% of people who set goals fail to reach them. And I have noticed being in this post-grad life that I've been a, I've been a victim to that. Because I'll say things like, oh, this week I'm going to do my laundry. So that way I don't have to do it on the weekend. And I just realized that I was over these past couple weeks actually not achieving the goals that I was setting for myself during the week. And then I was doing them on the weekend, which was just not an enjoyable weekend then because I was doing, I was doing these things that I didn't want to do on the weekend, but I was doing them on the weekend because I didn't want to do them during the week. So it's kind of counterintuitive if you ask me. And so I don't know why, but Monday of this week, this actually hit me and I was discussing this with some of my friends. Um, And it's really the secret sauce is in something very simple, which is to write it down and spend your time wisely, plan it out. So that way your time is spent wisely. And so literally this Sunday, I wrote down instead of saying a to-do list, I changed my list to say instead of saying to-do list it said goals for the week and this also stemmed from church on sunday they asked a question they were like what are your goals for this week it wasn't like oh what do you have to do this week it was what are your goals for this week and i actually really liked that mindset and that kind of turned me on to monday writing instead of to-do list goals for the week so I wrote down goals for the week of everything that I wanted to get done, like start studying for one of my exams coming up, um, get ready for one of my friends visiting this weekend, buy certain things, like I need to buy random things for my apartment, and groceries, just various things, you know, like all the things that you do whenever you're being an adult. So I noticed on Monday, guys, I was crazy. I was going crazy. I was being so productive. I was like, checking stuff off my list like never seen before literally I at lunchtime instead of sitting down like I normally do which I come home for lunch I normally I plop my butt on my porch outside and I eat and I scroll but instead I decided to get all the things done that I had on my list I didn't get everything done but I had a lot of things that I got checked off I was making phone calls for things that I needed to get done I was doing the content that I needed to get done I was doing things that just needed to get done because I wrote it down as goals and then I was checking them off it felt so amazing and then that night Monday night same thing I carried that energy down into Monday night I had to order some stuff because I have some events coming up some birthday gifts like all these things I was just being so productive and I said to my friends I was like It was actually my sister and my friend Haley who have both been on this podcast. I was like, guys, I don't know what I got into, but I am just so productive right now. And I'm actually getting the things done that I needed to get done because I wrote them down and I wrote them down as goals and not to-do list. So I don't know. I feel like... (laughs) Okay, this is like a psychological thing, just my experience, but maybe it could be your experience too. When you write goals at the top of the list instead of to do, it might it might actually get you to get stuff done. So here I am sitting on Wednesday night now recording this, and I'm like, I've done a lot of stuff this week that I needed to get done, and it's been feeling really good. So that would be my first recommendation, but also another recommendation that I would just want to 
hit on is go back to the word of God because God actually tells us that we should be spending our time wisely. And of course, this was in a recent reading actually that I had. So um, I am trucking along in the New Testament right now and it's just so good, guys. This word is so good. Every single day, every minute of my day, I'm like, oh, I want to read my Bible. I just like, I want to read the word of God. I like, what's next? I'm like flipping the pages. I'm like, oh, come on, come on. Like, let, I'm just hungry for more and it's amazing because god is just speaking and moving to me like never before and yeah i was i'm a firm believer in like read the word of god but i was really only doing it like in the morning for a while there and then now i'm like i can't get enough i think really what set this on fire was last week with the prayer and fasting that i did it just really ignited a a new fire in me and yeah so I'm just trucking along in the New Testament right now, and it's great. But anyways, y'all know I love Ephesians 6. Well, now I'm telling you I love Ephesians 5 now, too. So Ephesians 5, 5, um, sorry, Ephesians 5, 15 actually talks about how we should be walking in wisdom, but also walking in action and, like, how God tells us to spend time wisely. But in order to spend time wisely, like putting him first is how we're going to spend time wisely. So I'm going to read to you verses 15 and 16 in chapter 5 of Ephesians, which is, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. And I think I'm also going to read a different version because I have the new King James Version. So I'm going to also read New Living Translation because I did look it up online because I was interested in what it said. Okay, so the New Living Translation says, Don't live like fools, but like those who are wise. Make the most of every opportunity in these evil days. Why I like this scripture so much is whenever I was reading this, I just immediately thought about how putting God first is ultimately going to set the tone for how I spend my time wisely. So I think that still you guys know I'm a firm believer like the minute that you wake up spending time with God is the most precious time because that's when I Jim just start that's just setting the tone for the day and just really getting myself ready to take on whatever challenges that um I have in the day or whatever things I need to get done but it's like okay so God's telling me oh, I need to spend time wisely. But in order to spend time wisely, God comes first. And when he comes first, I'm able to have my day laid out perfectly because he was, my day was started with him. As I'm learning to write down goals and spend my time wisely and also put God first, it's just all coming together like a, like a puzzle, you know? So start my day off in the word of God, worshiping God, being in the presence of him, that is key. But then also writing down the goals of things that you need to get done. Like God is going to give you the strength to do those things. Whether that's grocery shopping, doing laundry, maybe you have an assignment to do. If you're a student, school just started back up again. If you're a student, maybe your list is so long with assignments or exams coming up. Whatever it is, um, writing those down. Oh, Guys, my light just went out. That was really bizarre. That's never happened. Hold on. Okay, that was really bizarre. And also, guys, I just realized my pantry is open back there. So please don't judge me because clearly I was getting a snack. <laughs> um. Anyways, where was I? Yeah, so when you write down your goals, like, then that's just putting it onto a piece of paper and God's going to give you the strength to be able to do all these things. I don't know why, like a couple weeks ago when I was first starting my full-time job, I was just like never doing the things that I had on my to-do list. It's just every day I would have like do your laundry and go grocery shopping and clean or do something like create content. It just never got done for some reason. I don't know why. And then this week I am writing writing it down as goals for this week and then all of a sudden I'm just like bam bam I'm doing it all everything is in line I'm feeling like life is good right now like someone explain this to me also I feel like my podcast episodes are kind of going together going back to my provider podcast like he's the provider of the time so if he's gonna he's gonna provide you the time then he's gonna provide you the strength to be able to do whatever task you gotta do 
really thankful that we serve a God who's always going to be providing and that he gives us wisdom on things that on how to do life. Like literally the Bible is just wisdom on how to do life. Like if you have a con- if you have a concern about anything in this world, which I know I do oftentimes, turn to the Bible. The answer is here. The Bible's going to have your answer. If you want to know how to spend time wisely, read the Bible. God's going to tell you. Put put him first and he will provide. God is going to tell you how to do that. And then it's just like every single situation that you come in contact with in your life God is going to provide the instructions on how to do that. And I just love that. Like this book is so relevant and it's alive and it's breathing. This yeah, this book is alive and so relevant to today that everything we face in today's world can be found in this. That is in the Old Testament, the New Testament, in any of the gospels and Jesus is teaching, they can be come back they can be drawn back to how we do life today. And t- I know this may be like silly of me to say, but it took me this long to kind of figure out spending time wisely. Ultimately, the way that you're going to spend time wisely is by putting God first and everything else is going to fall into place. I don't know why it took me that long to figure that out. (laughs) 22 years and it took that long to kind of figure that out. But it's so true. Like, and then whenever you're going to whenever you're going to put your time wisely with God, which is him first, and then doing all the other tasks you have in your day-to-day life, he that's conforming to his purpose and his will. Like if you are going to start your day off with spending time with him, then you're just going to be, he's going to guide you throughout the day to go and do whatever he wants you to do that's in his will for the future. If you have any questions about anything or you are faced with any type of situation in the entire world, it doesn't matter how silly it is. How should I decorate my home? (laughs) Well, the answer is in the Bible, which is that it should be glorifying God and that it should be home, a homey space. And um, that's something I'm also learning about right now in 2 Timothy. I think it's 2nd, maybe it's the first Um, Timothy, but like homemaking is a huge role for a woman. And when you're a woman, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to serve others well. If you're a man, you're supposed to do that too. But serving others well is just having your home being a welcoming place for other people to come and enjoy a meal together or just be in communities, enjoy games, or just spending genuine and quality time together. So, um, yeah, it's like it doesn't matter if it's something as small as how should I decorate my apartment and how how should I make how can I make this homey for my friends whenever they come over to something that's like a major life decision because guys the light I think that's everything that I have to say about something that is so simple that I just had like an epiphany I honestly hope this resonated with somebody because it took me something so simple to change my list from to do to goals to really understand how God wanted me to get things done and how he wanted to prioritize my tasks that I had like genuinely such a simple thing but it honestly has been really working for this week so far like it's Wednesday and I feel like I am just on a roll like what's next I really hope that this resonated with someone I know it's so simple but like it pro- probably maybe helped somebody else out I mean if I'm maybe maybe this is just me guys but like if some if I can help somebody else out have this realization and really press into the Lord for wisdom on something that's so simple when it's just like getting things done then I hope that that this is speaking to you um so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely like comment subscribe share this video with someone or share on your social medias I'll see you guys next week for another episode of Discipline Habits podcast bye